This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at MiniatureMarket.com. Hey everybody, welcome to another Clarence Gem. Now you're probably wondering, what am I going to pull out of the bag this time? What is it going to be? Is it going to be some sci-fi game that you never heard of? Or something, some kind of great pirate or miniature game? No. It's a kid's game, believe it or not. And there isn't very many times that I pull out kids games, but I always get asked, what's a good game to play with my kids? Well, I was digging through Clarence Gems, uh, through the Clarence and Miniature Market, and guess what I found? Vroom Vroom. Why don't we go down to the table and take a look? All right, we're going to talk about Vroom Vroom. How can you go wrong when you have a game called Vroom Vroom? First of all, you have some great components here. These are wooden and very well made and you can see there's a little line there I'll explain that in a moment um, and it even comes this is already assembled which is kinda nice because you don't have to worry about it you just open the box and start playing now you see I just made a quick track here but you get other track pieces so you can make all kinds of different shapes and sizes so the game won't get old very very simple the player on their turn rolls the dice and if their color, so let's say that we're doing yellow here, uh, comes up, that's how many times they can move. These rainbows are wild cards, which means that they can move, uh, they get a move, so they can use it. So right now we would have two moves. This snail here would just go one complete revolution, so that's one. If you see the line came back, and then it would go around again. Two. And that's how you you pretty much play the game. You roll and move your snail around. Now, the whole idea for these little things that are laying around on the table, the button, the key, and the heart here, is you have to pick up one of each. So you make it so they don't hug the entire corner here. So you spread them out. So maybe there's a button here and there's another button here because you can easily miss a button. Every time a snail comes up to a button, uh, or a key or a heart, they pick it and they put it on their card. Once they get all three and cross the f finish line, whoever is in first wins. Now, um, as you can see, there's ways to block them and force people outside and they may have to wait a little bit to get around and there's a whole little bit of maneuvering here. Not too strategic or anything. The whole game is just basically two pages and that's it and it's very easy great game for kids um, you know they learn how to count especially the younger kids let's let's take the greens turn so he would get uh, the red uh, actually and he would only get one move so he would go one entire rotation and then if our green guy was to go let's see what would happen if we go oh boy that's all wild cards there so he would get to go four you could push it right from behind, which is easy for the kids to do. So it's one, see, and you count two, three, and four. Always make sure you back it up and show them that they can't cheat and go past the line. This is a lot of fun. This is easy to play with kids. Um, just very enjoyable. The uh, uh, one final rule, just in case you need to know, if you pick up a key, Let's just say you picked up a key and then you run over another key. Well, when you hit that key, you stop and you put that right behind you and then you continue on with your motion. So it actually gives somebody a turn to make sure that they can get all those pieces that they need. So what are my final thoughts of this little masterpiece? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go up to the top and find out what I think about Vroom Vroom. Wow, this is a lot of fun. A lot of fun and I had a good time playing around with it even with my teenagers we just laughed and and thought it was fun and I thought it was something that was just perfect if you have some younger kids um, you know anyone from from ages from three three and probably up you'll have a good time with it simple to the point quick game you know 10 minutes 10 15 minutes they keep their attention it's really good and at twelve dollars and fifty cents how can you go wrong for that you get some really nice components in here uh, I, I, 
I got to give it a four out of five, to be honest with you. The price point is is dead on. What you get, you can make different tracks and make it fun with the kids and just have some fun. And, and that's what the game's all about, just having fun. You can never go wrong with a racing game. Of course, unless the four-year-old loses and starts to cry. Hmm. Well, that's it for this this is uh, Clarence Gem. Until next time, I'm Rob Warren. Sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, videos, and written reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market online gaming superstore. Thousands of games and minis. Discount prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.